Hello again. I have a little testimony for y'all, okay? When I was in school, uh, I always had fun. I had a lot of, lot of talent. I was a good actor. And uh, the teacher would be upset with me because I was always interrupting class, okay? Always interrupting class. And hey, I was a class clown. So, I mean, that's why I interrupted class. Can you imagine how long a school year would be without a class clown? So I did that and I took acting and I was in plays and I was in musicals and I was doing all that and it was fun. So I wanted to really either go to Hollywood or New York so I could be an actor, performer, entertainer, whatever. And it wasn't in my cards, okay? It wasn't in my cards. So I stayed home and uh, I started taking regular jobs, okay? Like a banker, uh, a draftsman for an engineering company, a manager for a restaurant, a salesperson, a sales clerk, and I was not happy. I was not happy. I said, God, I wanna be happy. He, well, you know, I prayed about it, meditated. He said, you need to do what you love. You need to be a clown. And I said, oh, wait a minute, God. Wait a minute. I know you are perfect. I know you're all knowing, all loving, and all caring, but I think you made a mistake on this one. I was wrong. I surrendered. God was right. He was right. 100% right. So I took some clown colleges. Uh, I took some classes and, uh, and you know, and started being a clown and started training and started learning uh, the paints and the music and the balloons and everything. And uh, he said, you're going to be a clown evangelist. I, really? Yep, you're going to be a clown evangelist. And I was like, okay, okay. So then I get the job at the stockyards and they hired me. And they said, do you have any stipulations on your contract? And I said, well, um, uh, I would love to be able to share the gospel, okay? If I can share the gospel, I will be the balloon artist for the stockyards. And they said, okay, that's fine with us. That's fine. And I was like, okay, super, super great, super happy. So I've been there 18 years, and uh, I've had kids from every country of the world, every city, every state of the country. I've been making balloons for them, and I share the gospel with them because, you know, these two red dots, he shed his blood, he ascended to heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and it's a cross. And uh, so I share the gospel. I give them John 3.16 uh, wristbands. I give them stickers. And uh, so if you want your child or children or family or friends, whoever, you want them to hear the gospel, the balloon man will give you the gospel at 101 Exchange Street between uh, Risky's Barbecue and Trail Boss at the train station. God bless you.